Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Gauri Manchanda and in today's video we are going to be discussing about the difference between Boeing and Airbus. Now as an aviator, as a student pilot, I feel that this is a very interesting topic and everyone should have some general knowledge about it. So this video is going to focus on the general aspect of it. We are not going to be discussing about the technical aspects of both the companies. So let's start. In this video, we will be covering about the history of both the companies to understand when they started, where are the headquarters, what is the philosophy behind, you know, behind their company. We are going to be discussing about the major aircrafts that both the companies have and we are going to be discussing about how to identify both the aircraft. So suppose you are going to the airport and you see an aircraft landing. So then you should be able to make out that this is Boeing ka aircraft, this is Airbus ka aircraft and if you are very expert, you can model bhi bata sakte ho. So we are going to be discussing how you can tell from far away which aircraft is, which I find very interesting. And last but not the least and the most interesting, कि Airbus के सारे models is A320, A330, A320 Neo. So why is this three number so significant? And similarly for Boeing, 747, 737, 777, 787. What is this so much लगाव with the number seven? So that is the question that I'll answer at the last. So stay tuned. Now starting from the start, Boeing is American manufactured, whereas Airbus is European manufactured. Boeing was founded in 1917 and the name of the founder is William E. Boeing, whereas Airbus was founded in 1917. Boeing is because it is American manufactured, so the headquarters are in Chicago, Illinois, USA. And for Airbus, now it is divided into four major countries, which is France, Germany, Spain and Netherlands. The headquarters are in Netherlands. And... Both of these companies are not only in the airplane industry, they are also in the aerospace industry. So because of which Boeing is manufacturing commercial aircraft, military aircrafts, satellites and space vehicles. So not only airplanes, a lot more than that. Similarly for Airbus, commercial, defense as well as helicopters. So that is something which is interesting. Now discussing about the major aircrafts of both the airlines. So let's start with the best sellers. Boeing ka best seller is Boeing 737. Whereas Airbus ka best seller as of now is Airbus A330. And discussing about some other major aircrafts of both the companies. We have Boeing 747 which is also known as the Queen of the Sky. It is a jumbo jet airline, which is which was the largest, and that is why it has a hump on it, as you can see, and that is why it is known as the Queen of the Sky. We have Boeing 777, which is a twin engine aircraft. We have C-17 Globemaster. Now, this one is very interesting. It is used by militaries and it is used for defense. So basically, Air Force. Air Force of both the countries of USA and India use this for relief flights. So this is a cargo airplane. And we have 787, the Dreamliner, which uses 20% less fuel than Boeing 767. That is why it was named the Dreamliner, because it cost reduce cost reduce you know, airlines. Ke liye. And the major aircrafts by Airbus is A320 Neo, A350, A340, and A330, which is the most sold one. But... The difference between Boeing and Airbus, dur se, as an airplane spotter's view, is that you have to look at the nose of the aircraft. Now, Boeing has a slightly pointed nose, whereas Airbus has a rounded nose. So whenever you're going to the airport next time, look at the nose of the aircraft and you can make out if it's a Boeing or if it's an Airbus. Another difference to think about here is the shape of the engines of the aircraft. So you can see that there are engines hote hain. Now, if both the engines are rounded, then it is Airbus. But if it is slightly flat, niche se, then it is a Boeing aircraft. The next thing is the winglets and the shacklets. Now, these are the endpoints of your wings. And if you look at them, so even then you can make out if it's a Boeing or if it's an Airbus aircraft. Now, I think when you go to the airport next time, it is going to be a lot more interesting. And last but not the least, the favorite question, why Airbus 300, Airbus 320, 350, 340? Now, it is very simple. 
because of the capacity of the aircraft. Now, first Airbus aircraft was Airbus 300, which 300 passengers carry. Kar sakta tha. So that is why the number 300. And uske baad unhone apni series make uniformity rakhne ke liye 300, 320, 350, 340 aise hi series aake So 3 ka ye matlab hai. It is related to the capacity. For Boeing it is slightly different because 700 to nahi thi unki capacity. So Boeing ka first egg. So Boeing ke liye I'll tell you. Maine achche se note down kara hua hai. So Boeing, you know, before that, in 1916, it was known as the Pacific Aero Products. And after that, in 1917, its name was changed to Boeing. It was also into military and air, airspace. So, they had all their divisions and they were based on 100 ki divisions. Mein. So, 300 and 400 aircrafts ko represent karta tha. 500 turbine engine ko represent karta tha. 600 was for the rockets and 700 was set aside for jet transport aircraft so commercial jo aage honge and so 700 so initially they thought boeing 700 doesn't sound that catchy so they just came up with 707 and that was the first boeing aircraft and uske baad se the series continued you have 737 747 757 767 and 777 787 so that is how the 707 came into the picture I hope you enjoyed this video and drop down your comments below your doubts and what are the topics you want me to make videos on. Thank you for watching.